Hi, and welcome to Section 2, Building a Single Page App on AWS. What we'll cover in this section? We'll be using AWS Console to create an S3 bucket, uploading the source files into the S3 bucket, setting up that bucket to host a static website, and finally browsing to your new single page app. Hi, and welcome to the Using the AWS Console to Create an S3 Bucket. What we'll cover in this video? Logging into the AWS Console, navigating to the S3 console, and creating a bucket to store your static website files. In your favorite browser, navigate to aws.amazon.com slash console. Then you'll click the Sign into the Console button. If you see this screen, enter your email address and click Next. Then you'll be asked for your password. Type it in and click Sign In. Once you've signed in, click in the AWS Services search box and type S3. You'll see the scalable storage in the cloud. You'll see that you don't have any buckets, so click the Create a Bucket button. Now here you'll have to enter a DNS compliant bucket name. What this means is it must be unique across all bucket names created by all users in AWS. So you'll have to think of something creative here. I'll use AWS Packed Videos 2 for Section 2. You can put it in any region you like. There's many regions all across the world. But for our example, I'm just going to stick with US West, which is in Oregon. Click Next. And it will ask you about some properties of the bucket. We'll just leave these alone. But what we can do is use tagging to identify groups of buckets. For example, dev, test, or prod, or by customer name. Uh, you can enable versioning of the files and enable logging to see who accesses the files and when. We'll leave all those off for now. We'll leave the permissions as default also. Be very careful not to expose your buckets to the world because then anybody can see them. We'll click Next and we'll just see the review of all the options we've chosen and I'll click Create Bucket. Once it's created, we can go into it. We can review the properties of the bucket. And again, you have the versioning and the logging. And we'll see more about the static website hosting in next videos. There's also transfer acceleration. If you are transferring large amounts of data, you can set up events so that it will notify other AWS services when a file is created or updated in the bucket. And then there's requester pays, which makes the requester pay for access. That's a pretty advanced thing that we won't be covering. In this video, we use the AWS console to create an S3 bucket to store your HTML and other files of our single page app. 